guys good morning i just woke up and i wanted to do a what i eat in a day on competition prep video I talked about it yesterday on instagram and people were very curious as to how the heck i'm hitting these macros as vegan so today we are gonna do it so i just woke up and i usually just have a cup of coffee for the first several hours that i'm awake so i'm gonna have that and take the dogs out All right, so it is about 1.30, which is a little later than I usually have my first meal of the day. I usually eat about one, and I'm gonna have six slices of Eve's Canadian bacon. We take the paper off to make it fit better in the fridge. I'm gonna cook it in the toaster oven, and then I am going to have 40 grams of oats with some cinnamon, vanilla, and stevia. This was actually a honey pot from my childhood, but I have readapted it to make it a stevia pot. All right, so I have my oats and my Canadian bacon that I put mustard on. I'm gonna have that along with my supplements here and some water. Before I actually eat, I wanted to talk about why I'm even doing this video. I usually avoid talking to people about what my macros are because I don't want people to try to copy them because they are what I am doing that works for me right now in competition prep for a bodybuilding competition. So 90% of people are never, ever, ever, ever going to have to, nor should they do what I'm doing right now. However, in my time in like Facebook groups, trying to help other people go vegan and trying to help people figure stuff out as a vegan, I always hear and read, I can't hit my protein without going over my carbs. I can't hit my protein without going over my fat because we think, vegan protein sources are usually really high in carbs or high in fats, and sometimes they are, they can be, but it can be done. And that's kind of the only thing that I'm trying to prove today, not like, wow, look how, how few carbs I'm eating as a vegan, because I don't normally eat like this. I'm eating like this for a very specific reason for a very short period of time compared to how I normally eat in the off season is probably literally more than twice the amount of food that I'm eating right now. Certainly more than twice the amount of carbs that I'm eating right now. So right now, what I'm gonna show you is a full day of eating with 100 grams of carbs, 45 grams of fat, and 130 grams of protein. And I'm not going to use protein powder today. Not because I hate protein powders, because I actually have been using one lately that I really, really like. It's called Elevate Nutrition, it's fantastic. So I've been having that at night normally, but for the purpose of this video today, I'm not gonna use any so that I can show you how I hit those numbers without using any protein powders. Now, I will say, if you're going to go soy-free, gluten-free, and try to exclude all of these vegan foods, you're gonna have a much harder time. But there's no need to do that unless you have a clinically diagnosed allergy to one of the above. But if you were soy-free and gluten-free, then you would use protein powders. But you don't have to use protein powders to hit even high protein numbers even when you don't have a lot of carbs and fats. So that's what I'm trying to show you today. Okay, so I just finished breakfast. We're gonna go train, but because my entire next meal is air fried, I'm gonna air fry the tofu before we train and then swap it out for the rest when I get home. So it's just 10 ounces of tofu. I have cubed it, so that's 280 grams. We're having half of it uh, that's been frozen tofu. So if you freeze tofu, it changes the texture. Some of it froze in the fridge and I'm just gonna Give it a shot. And now I'm just gonna sprinkle garlic salt and onion powder and pop it in the air fryer for 18 minutes at 370 degrees, I believe, maybe 400, and that's it. Okay, so home from the gym. It is like five, six o'clock, oh my God. It's a lower body day, definitely felt it, and then we had a quick family crisis we had to deal with, but I'm home. So now I am going to start up the air fryer for just a couple minutes while I chop some sweet potatoes and zucchini to go with my lunch. So I have these really small zucchinis. Um, they just happen to be small this week, so I'm gonna do two zucchinis chopped. It's gonna be about 150, maybe 200 grams. And then I'm going to cut up 75 grams of the sweet potato into like fry shapes. And I'm gonna put both of those in the air fryer together with garlic salt and onion and maybe some cayenne on the sweet potato. So it came out to be 200 grams and then that is 75 grams. And then I have some ends and this happens every day. You guys like that? 
Yeah, you do. All right, so here we go. This is a weird day. I don't usually eat these meals quite this late, but whatever. So this was the tofu that was not frozen. And then this is what the tofu that was frozen first came out like. They're very crunchy, so something to consider if you like really crunchy food. This tastes more like regular uh, fried tofu. Zucchini was in the air fryer for about 14 minutes. The sweet potato fries were in there for 12 minutes. And then I have some Frank's Red Hot Sauce on the side and this Heinz No Sugar Ketchup. So this does have artificial sweeteners in it, but I only use about a tablespoon of it a day. This has one gram of carbohydrates, whereas regular ketchup has five grams per tablespoon. And this is my jam. It is just seltzer water with vanilla like essence to it. Love this. All right, there we go, meal two. It is quarter past nine and I'm gonna have my third meal. So I'm gonna have half a package of this Light Life Tempeh and about 150 grams of broccoli with lemon juice and garlic. I'm gonna air fry the whole thing. Are you guys catching a trend here with the air frying? So you guys probably thought it was really weird when I had my first meal at one o'clock, but hopefully now you're kind of seeing why I keep odd hours. I will probably be up working until around midnight and I'll probably go to sleep. Hopefully, hopefully around midnight because it's Friday night and I'm ready to be done. But yeah, that's why I eat so late. I definitely would not say that I do intermittent fasting, but I do try to push my first meal off for as long as I can kind of stand it because I know that I only have a certain amount of food to eat for the day and I don't fall asleep well if I'm hungry. So I save a good chunk of my food for the end of the night so that I can get a good night's sleep. So that's why I do that. So I'm going to sprinkle this tempeh with probably some soy sauce, maybe some sriracha and uh, the broccoli with lemon juice and garlic and air fry the whole thing at 370 degrees for 12 minutes and then have some dinner. So here's dinner. I did put soy sauce and sriracha on this before I've stuck in the air fryer. And then these, so good, so good. And then I'm gonna use this Kelly's Croutons lemon pepper parm. It's made of magic. And I'm gonna put literally like a half a teaspoon on this broccoli. And I still have about half of that left. And Kitty always sits here and watches me eat every single night. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna make my last meal. It's gonna be a little sweet treat. And usually I just take whatever macros I have left and whip something up. It is 10.51. Today could have been called a day in the life of my air fryer, but I'm gonna make some kind of like cookie thing with Vital Wheat Gluten, PB2, the best peanut butter in the entire world from my friend Pasha. He mails it to me from New York. Almond flour, baking powder, stevia, vanilla, and some water. And I'm just gonna mix it up till my macros are right and it's dough and then I'm gonna drop it in the air fryer, bake it for 10 to 12 minutes at 350. So today with the macros I had left, it was 20 grams of vital wheat gluten, four tablespoons of PB2, one tablespoon of this delicious peanut butter, one tablespoon of almond flour. I just used a spoonful of stevia, a little vanilla extract and water to make it this consistency. Now I am literally just going to drop it in like cookie sizes in the air fryer. All right, they are done. Here's what they look like. They puff up into like these kind of, I don't know, I'm gonna call them cookies, but they look like little rolls or biscuits or something. And I get to eat all of these. So I have a lot of fat macros at the end of the day, hence the peanut butter and almond flour, but this still has about 30 grams of protein in them and they taste pretty darn good. So thus concludes a full day of eating on competition prep with low macros and no protein powder. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got a lot out of it. I believe, I'll have to double check, I think my macros for the day were 103 grams of carbs like 43 grams of fat and 131 grams of protein. So within five grams of all of my macro goals. And yeah, I am, I was pretty hungry this morning, but I'm full and I am satisfied right now. I got in three to four servings of veggies because technically each one of those was really two servings of veggies. Got in sweet potatoes, oats, 
and even got a little dessert in there. The only thing that was missing today was fruit. And I could have swapped out some of my oats for some strawberries just to say that I had fruit in there, but I just find the oats to be more filling than strawberries. So that's why I don't have any in there, not because I'm anti-fruit. If I had any more macros to play with, there would be a lot more fun, interesting stuff. But hopefully this just shows you guys, which the only point of this was, you can hit your protein goals without going over your carbs and fats on a vegan diet without just eating protein powder all day. That was the whole point. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go wash this hair dye out of my hair and I will talk to you guys soon.